The ACT train story began in the 1980s when the world was hungry for plastics. As a result, global ethylene and propylene demand was on the rise, but capacity was quickly limited by frequent plant maintenance. The average ethylene plant run length was just 18 months. The main culprit? Fouling. Severe polymer formation in ethylene distillation section caused equipment failure, so licensors redesigned plants and reduced fouling, but not sufficiently. The improvements were not enough. In the early 80s, the big bang on ethylene fouling control came when Dr. Mike Farrell invented the use of Actrine inhibitor in ethylene distillation. In 1986, the first generation of Actrine was born and revolutionized fouling control and ethylene distillation forever as it doubled and tripled equipment run lengths. In 1990, second generation Actrine arrived with multiple actives that brought a five-year standard run length. By 1992, 50 plants were treated. In 1999, a third generation of Actrine brought along new actives and products, tailored for different columns and severity. 100 plants had been treated by 1994, and run lengths hit a record eight years. Today, Actrine is used in 58% of the world's production of ethylene and 48% of the world's production of propylene. Actrine supports 39% of the world's plastic raw material production and has delivered $127 million of savings and cleaning costs to ethylene producers. If that's not enough, Actrain has also reduced half a million man-hours of hazardous operations and increased ethylene producers' profits by $3.9 billion. And the story continues. Fourth generation Actrain is here, and with it comes new technology, a more cost-efficient program, and improved environment, health, and safety. We are proud to announce the launch of the fourth generation Actrain in 2016.